everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have so many good things to show you today. I'm so excited. It's, I love days like this when I'm, oh, I just can't wait to do it. And I have so many things here. Let's see. I don't even know what I want to start off with. Okay, I'm going to start off with last night I went to Ulta after dinner to take Brooke a drink and she wanted a peanut butter cookie from next door, so I went out there to see her, and I was actually returning the Anastasia Foundation. I have tried that twice. Both times, I've gotten the wrong shade, and I was going, my intentions were to find a better shade, and I just, I just really, I guess I wasn't impressed even with the formula. It's like it didn't wow me either time that I tried it, so I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to give up on it for now until I, unless I see someone say it's so great, but I really love the foundations that I have now. I have probably about, I don't know, I would say a good eight or 10 foundations that I really like, that I feel like no matter what, I can put them on and I'm gonna like them. So soon I am going to go old school OG YouTube and I'm going to do some videos. I've already got my glosses picked out all of my favorites, the ones I use the most, and I'm gonna do that with my foundations and maybe a few other things. Because now that I've had all of these things to try all of these years, it's interesting to see what still is there and then a few new things that I've gotten in there too. So I'm gonna do that soon. The first thing, I cannot wait to tell you about these. Lisa J's brush set. And her company is called BK Beauty and it stands for Be Kind. Her daughters are also Brooklyn and Kate. I got to know Lisa when I was at the Reward Style Convention. I had met her the year before, but didn't spend much time with her. Well, this year, I spent some time with her, and she is just a baby doll. I mean, she is so kind, so pretty. I mean, she's just, she's one of those people that you like even, even more when you meet her in person. So she actually had some of these when she was at Reward Style, and I got to see some of them, and I think she had maybe this one. I think this is the one I remember seeing. So she was nice enough to send me a set of these, and I used them all. I just got them yesterday, so I used them all this morning. And I, I did my makeup yesterday and I really liked it. So I was so hesitant because I was like, oh, I kind of want to use that brush I used for this yesterday. So it turns out just the same, but I thought, no, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I love them. I really do. They are so good. I think, I think I was most impressed with this. And when she showed this, I knew I was going to be because I... I am not crazy about the Beauty Blender. I think it, I like the Beauty Blender. I think your makeup looks good when you apply your makeup with the Beauty Blender. I am not that patient. There is just something about that. I just, it drives me crazy. And I've tried the swiping, I've tried using the side, but the bottom, the fat bottom always looks the best. But I really love brushes, but I hate the way brushes leave the brush marks. This is just fabulous. There's just something about the curve of it and the way it just, it's just beautiful. And it didn't leave a lot in my brush. And these are vegan and I think almost every brush company is gonna do vegan these days. But the, these are vegan, they're very weighty, <clears throat> excuse me, weighty and luxe feeling. This is the BK Beauty 101 brush. And I'm going to put um, her brush video down below and then you can watch it and see you know, which she'll go through each brush and explain them, but I love this one. I think I used every one. This, I love, you guys know I love brushes that are shaped like this. They're so easy to do, like bronzing, contour, powder. I just love brushes like that. A giant powder brush. I may not have used this because today I did not use a loose powder. So this, I would use this for loose powder and I didn't use that today. So this might be the only one. And then this one I think is also good for like a contour or um, powder. I think I used this today for a powder that I put on my cheeks. And if you're wondering, I did a 90s like supermodel look. 
And I also, I kind of did a 90s supermodel look. I was inspired by Ariel Snyder sent me a clip of the makeup artist Nikki, Nikki Makeup on Instagram, and she did a 90s supermodel look and you know I was in my 20s in the 90s so that is just like right when I was in the heyday of doing my makeup and had gotten into Chanel and I very well remember all of those things so I kind of did my makeup I did a combination of pictures of like Karen Mulder um, I used some things that I remember that I used to use and I kind of, you know, that tutorial inspired me in some ways. I didn't really, I don't think I used anything that she used, but it was a combination of those things. So I used this brush to put this powder because one of the things is you bring it in a little up and a little bit closer and um, love it. And then the eye brushes were just perfect. So I know you can purchase like them in sets i'm not quite sure if they're available individually but her website is phenomenal very professional so proud of you lisa so proud of you i'm just so happy for you enough about that um then okay i'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way this thing okay this is the hot tools i believe it is the charcoal um like one step blower it's the you know, the equivalent or the competitor of the Revlon One Step that we all know and love. Now, I was in Ulta a couple weeks ago and I was standing there with one of the managers, Sam, and we were, she loves the Revlon. And so we were looking at all the different ones that have come out, the copycats, and we were wondering, is it worth trying another one? And she said, well, when mine gives up, I might try another one. So I couldn't stand it, it was on my mind. So I just went back and chose the one that I just liked the best. There is one that is, okay, Hot Tools is the one, the brand that it is. I don't know if I've said that. Where does it say? Yes, yeah, it's Hot Tools right here. And I think Bedhead makes one, and there's actually two of the Hot Tools ones like this, but one of them is the gold. And even with the, you know, curling irons and stuff, I just don't like that metal. Just the thought of the metal being on my hair just, just seems like it would burn to me. So I chose this one, and it's supposed to be charcoal something something. That really didn't play a big part in it. And um, I was just curious. I wanted to just test it out for you guys. So... The other night, John and Will went to a movie. Brooke was at work, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna be so good. I'm going to wash my hair, and I'm gonna do one side of my head with this, and the other side of my head with the Revlon. I'm gonna record it for you guys, and then I'm gonna do a video tomorrow and let you try to guess which one, and I'm gonna put the clips in. And so, <clears throat> that is what I did. Well, the next morning, I think I made um, another video. I think that's when I did my um, FabFit Fun Box. And I'll put that video up here because it's the first time I got one of those and it was, I was so impressed with that box. But anyway, um, so after that, I did the video for this, went to go find the little clips to put in it and I had accidentally deleted them because Brooke and I are sharing the same little camera we're sharing the same camera and the same little card. And so when I was cleaning out, I think it was just something I didn't recognize and I thought it was one of Brooke's old ones and I deleted it. So I may put a little thing in here where you can see both sides where I did the right side with this and then I did the left side with the Revlon. And even that next day, I thought, that night and the next day, I thought I could tell that this worked better. Then I asked Brooke what side looked smoother and she chose the side. So night before last, I just used this on its own. And so this is second day hair. And I'm telling you, it, it almost works too good. It made my hair just so, like look how silky and basically straight. Now I have put it up so many times in a, when I get home at night, I automatically put it up like in a twist and then I put those clips in my hair just because I want it out of my face. And so it's kind of got some bends in it from that, but it was so straight, I couldn't believe it. So if you love the Revlon, you will really, really love this. But I understand if you want to wait, 
But if you haven't tried either one of them, I suggest that you get this. It is just like it. It has the low, cool, low, and high. And I used the low because the high, just like the air was on so much and I felt like it got a little bit hotter and I just didn't need it. So I dried my hair, I would say 70, probably about 65 or 70 percent of the way with my T3. And then I finished off with this and loved it. So everyone needs to try one of these and then the next exciting thing is very inexpensive and so good these are just as good they're better they're better than the yummy tummy and they're better than the Spanx, and they're better than the jockey i found these at target and i bought i think they were like six dollars a piece yeah six dollars and I had looked, I was getting frustrated at, you know, not being able to find exactly what I wanted. I had Googled high-waisted panties and was looking at all the different ones because I like them to be high-waisted, but I don't want granny panties. I either want a thong or I want like a cheeky or something like that. And I love the ones from Victoria's Secret, but if you have gotten those, luckily they're not very expensive, but they will come apart after you've washed them, you know, a lot. But, and they lose their, like at first I love them because they're so fitted. And so I even ordered the small thinking, well then that'll make them even better. But then it made them like where they don't come up as high and they just didn't fit me as well because I have a long torso. And so anyway, saw these online, went in there, looked for them, couldn't find them. So I asked a girl and she went and got them out of the drawer. It's um, in the drawer with the thongs. And she said, well, you know that they're $5, five for $20 or something. So I picked out, I got three pair of these and then I've got two pair of the silky cheekies that are real pretty too. I'll link those down below because I do love those. And um, I got up to the register and these are not included in that special. So they did end up giving it to me i love them i wore them yesterday so they're high waisted they have the nice um they're not as tight as the all the other ones i have had so they're not as tight as the yummy tummy or any or definitely not as tight as the spanx but they're just tight enough kind of like um a pair of hose a leotard something like that it's not like it's trying to suck you in at least not with me and if you really don't want that size up i got the medium so i won't go on and on about it because i think for six dollars you just need to try them and they just make you yesterday i had a dress on and it just there's just something about smoothing you out it just makes my posture better it just makes me feel better. I don't know, there's just something about wearing these with a dress or a skirt and having your everything smoothed out right there in the middle and but not having like legs and the whole get up. So anyway, love these and could not wait to tell you about them. I'm gonna, I've got one thing here that I really can't wait to show you but I'm gonna save it to the last. Okay, yesterday, last night when I went in Ulta, I was walking around waiting to talk to Brooke and I noticed that they had put a whole new section in of um, Makeup Revolution. They had like a new section called Revolution Pro and it just looked so pretty and everything was all new and I went over there and looked and I saw there were two palettes. There was one that had like some warmer colors in it and then there was this one and this is the Night and Day Color Focus Shadow Palette and it is so not i could not believe it this morning how nice it is hardly any at all of the like dusty kick up when you use the shadows so this is what i have on today and the only thing i did is right at the end i couldn't help but use that purple mac shadow that i showed you a couple weeks ago I used it a little bit and put it through my crease just because I just wanted a little bit more purple. But I used like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and a little bit of this gold is, um, if you see the shimmer on my lids, that's that gold. Beautiful, creamy, pigmented. You couldn't have told me that this wasn't a, I mean, it was, to me, it's better than like an Anastasia or something like that because it doesn't dust all over the place. Just really good. And I believe this palette was $20. So, so worth it. And go look at all the other ones because there are lots of palettes. Okay. And then another thing I got from that collection is the, there was three different eye primers. 
One is like a sparkly, like MAC bear study or something like that. And then there was another one, I can't remember what color it was. And then there was, it was probably lighter. And then there was this one. And this one is called Central Eye Primer. And I did use it today and it did work well, but I will say, and I knew this when I got it. So this is about the color of like Painterly. It is super, super, see how I'm just tapping it and how much it got on my hand. It's super, super like creamy. So it's not like, you know, a putty texture. It's more of a cream texture, almost like a, just a little heavier than a liquid shadow put in a pot. And so I wasn't sure I was gonna like that. Matter of fact, when I was putting it on, I was like, oh, I'm gonna tell them that I don't like that. But it did dry down and it is, I mean, I've had my eyes done now for a good, I would say, 45 minutes after I got ready and ran around and did a few things. And um, so I like it so far. And this, I picked the perfect color. The first one I chose was like C3, and I'm so glad I tested it and went with C5, but it's the Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer from the same brand. And um, I can't remember how much this was, but it's very, very similar to, if not almost just the same, as the Tarte Amazonian Clay, the one that used to come in the tube. And if you have ever used the Lancome Waterproof Concealer, that is what it's like. It is just full on. It is so full that I went to put it under my eyes right at the end, like I always do. I like to put a little extra concealer when I'm totally done with my makeup and just go like right in there. And I had to actually go back over it with a little bit of powder because it was so opaque. But it is not, I don't know if you can see, it's not creasy at all. And actually, I probably, next time I will do it before I do my powder, because I can see it is a little bit um, bright under there, but hey, you can't complain about that. So you just take out the smallest little bit, and then what I did is just rubbed it on my hand like that, and then kind of went like that, you know, with it. Don't try to go from the tube to your eyes, because I can't imagine. You will have a sticky, mess what you need to do. This is the same thing I do with sharp tart shape tape too. I dab it on my hand first and then you rub it out and then you put it on. That way you're not going to get too much that it's going to get cakey. Then um, Tish was at Ulta and she is one of the Chanel girls and so I walked over with her and I wanted to get some of this. I have been, you know, collecting my empties and thinking about, you know, what I was going to tell you guys about each thing, you know, their little review. And I just threw the um, Garnier Miss, uh, Micellar Water, the one that is supposed to remove, you know, um, waterproof makeup and remove all your mascara. And I do not use waterproof mascara. And I was just having a hard time getting that to work. So. I'm, I'll tell you when I go through it, but I just wouldn't get that again. So, and then my Costco wipes, they work, but I always still have some type of residue under my eyes, and I hate that. That is one of my biggest pet peeves, is to take a shower, get out, and I still have, you know, makeup on. So, I remembered how much I loved this, and I know it's expensive for eye makeup remover, but they're just, to me, there's just nothing like it. I do like, I've got a little one of the Lancome dual phase in there, but I feel like that one can tend to dry out my under eyes. And I just always remembered loving this one. And so I went ahead and bit the bullet and got it because it really doesn't take much. Now that I use the gauze pads instead of cotton pads, it doesn't take as much and I can do, you know, put it on there and do both eyes with it. And this is after I've used the wipe. I to use a lot to just like go right in and you know, you would use more of this. But what I like to do is to take the Costco wipe, get the bulk of my makeup off, I wash my face, and then I'll go back over my eyelashes with something like this. So I will be able to use just a little bit of it and it's just so good. I've, you guys have seen me buy this before and I'm gone all around and coming back to it. This has been out of stock forever and they just got it in. It's the Rouge Coco Flash Hydrating Vibrant Shine Lip Color in the color 52 Casual. And it's just a good old Lisa color. It's just a good, you know, just a nude, but it's very glossy. And I was tempted to wear it today, but I was scared. I, I wanted to 
go for a particular look and um, but it's just really it like it's not quite as intense as the peach shine from L'Oreal, but it's that same tone and that same consistency, just not quite as opaque. Just really pretty. You know, I've had um, the glosses on my mind because I was getting out all of my favorite glosses. So I was looking at the new glosses and I saw this one. And you guys know, little spoiler alert that Bobbi Brown's citrus gloss has been just my favorite 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 with any lip liner and I just love colors like this with you know any lip liner that you know berry brown everything so I swatched this and I think it's going to be a winner and let me let me just I've got this NYX suede pencil here in the color kitten heels this was a little too bright for me, but just to give you an example, um, I'll show you. I think I've messed up by getting the gloss on it. But see how that is like a totally different color, but when you put it with that orangey tone, how pretty, it just gives that fullness to your lips. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of rub these in together like you would do your lips and show you how pretty that is. When you will put that peachy orangey tone or kind of like a tangerine peachy tone with any other color. It just looks so good with everything. And the reason I was looking for maybe something that was similar to the Bobbi Brown is because the Bobbi Brown is number nine on the sticky factor. That Bobbi Brown gloss is sticky. So some of you might not like it. So I was looking for a dupe that wasn't as sticky and I think this is it. And after that, I was wanting to try, I have not tried one of these in so long. It is like the double-ended, you know, long-lasting gloss that you put the cover over and they had a really me type color. So I got this to try for us. It is Mary Rose 397. These are all new since I've bought any of them. So you put on the lip shade which is that color, a good nude. And then you let it dry down. And then you have this clear gloss to put over it. And I will say, oh, and it's got a brush now. I don't, did I always have a brush? I'm not sure. I'm trying to let this dry down. These are not like Anastasia, Liquid Lips, The Lawless, um, you know, ColourPop, all those liquid lips, they just make your lips look so dry and cracked up. This is not, or I'm not even trying to say liquid lips, the um, ones that are supposed to last a long time. And um, this, these kind of stay just a little bit glossy and then you put this over it and you have a glossy lip that lasts a long time. And you've probably heard people talk about these. These are just known to be really good versions of, let's see what it's called. Um, ultra wear liquid lip color. This is something I've been so into my topes and stuff lately. I know that the, you know, the warm tones are it, but just for me, I just love the taupey colors and it might be that I'm just that 90s girl that was into more of the purples and the topes and the cool shadows. But I saw this one and it just got my attention. It's called Secret Service. And it is just a really taupey brown, I would say it's similar to like Mark, Mark, Mac charcoal brown. And um, so let me swatch it. When I swatched it, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna like that. And there it is. So just a good one to do like around. If you want to do it like um, this natural style where you just literally do that one color all over and then across the lash line, you could do that but I will probably do it like an outer V. Wow, last but not least, I was so excited to try these for us. I haven't heard anything about it, but I'm sure when you're on Instagram like I am, you see all those same ads. And I'm, I'm sure, maybe you don't, because I'm sure they're geared towards what you look for. And so I see a lot of shoe ads. And I want to order some of the Tamra Melon shoes. I just haven't decided. I want, there's two pair of boots I want to try, and I've been trying to decide which ones. And, um, but I kept seeing this and it is the Inez and it, they advertise their shoes to be, 
you know, the most comfortable heels. And then they go through and they show you all the reasons that their heels are just so comfortable. You can wear them all day and all this stuff. And I kept seeing this certain pair. And so I went ahead and ordered them. They're designed in New York, always made in Spain. And I just got them this morning. So I've got one on, but I wanted to save one out to show you. They come with the shoe bag, which I appreciate so much more now that I'm traveling. And a little note that says, thank you, Duncan. Hope you enjoy your new comfy Inez sandals. Please let me know if I can help you in any way. Kindly, Ariana. Inez at Inez.com. And, oh gosh, and they even come with extra little toe things they were um not cheap but they're not cheap and they're but they weren't as expensive as like most designer shoes they were right around right around 250 and then these are the ones i chose and aren't they beautiful so they're the strappy heel that i like they're the good toe that isn't too it's not so square that it's like that look but they're not pointed like the shoots sandals are so pointed sometimes I don't like the way my feet look on them and um, I love they come in like a pink pinky nude embossed um, leather and then I think they come in like a black but I you guys know how I am about this green and this color is so like that Gucci green they're just so pretty and just a good I mean, they're just so pretty to be comfortable. So I've been walking around in this one shoe and they are so comfortable. What it is, I can go ahead and tell you why, because look how big the actual footbed is. It doesn't have your foot crammed in like this little narrow footbed, like these straps aren't killing my pinky toe. And there's just a great pitch. Look at how the insole is like, I hate that you can see how, see how it's like coming up to like actually fit your foot. I mean, you can just look at these, I hope, and tell just how much has gone into making these. And um, so I'm gonna put this on and then do an outfit of the day because I'm gonna show you the other pair of jeans that I bought from Kelly a couple of weeks ago and um, I'll be right back. I'm trying these on now and I just noticed, see how this has that little elastic thing there? That is the kind of, that's the details that make a shoe a little little more expensive, which I think these are a great price, but that's the kind of stuff that helps. This also, this little top is new. It's from Free People, and it's actually from their like Intimates, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, you know, like a base layer. And I kept seeing it on one of the bloggers that I follow on Like To Know It. And I love like these types of cut in tank tops. And this one is the type that is so stretchy, you don't have to wear a bra with it. I have a thing about halter bras. They just bug me for some reason. So I try not to wear them if I don't have to. But I will tell you guys, you guys will not believe this of this thing. So if you want something to go under and like make your waist look small, oh my goodness, it is like sucking me in. So that is the top. It's a free people. I don't know if I said that. And then these are the jeans. They're that same designer, Legeance. And I wish that I could let you guys feel these. They feel like, I don't even know what's in them, but they feel really soft and they're stretchy. And they're the type that you don't feel like you've got to, they're, I don't feel like, I haven't once since I put them on bent down and like, you know, tried to stretch them. They're just not like that. And so I've got the sandals on. I love like these little strappy sandals with like a pair of jeans like this, either some cropped ones or like the full length. So I rolled my pants up so you could see the shoes, but look at how pretty they are. Look at how my foot is fitting right in the toe box and you can tell why they're going to be comfortable and i love this color before i forget i want a new rug to go behind me underneath our sofa and coffee table i want a bigger one that kind of goes you know under it and goes all around and i've been looking at i love the look of those like white or cream colored like shag type rugs 
if you guys have one of those, tell me what do you do as far as vacuum them, vacuuming them and keeping them clean? I can't believe that they would be so popular if there's no way to vacuum them. So if you have one of those, let me know down below. For accessories, I was thinking, you know, the whole 90s thing. I had a pair of gold hoops back then and they were, I don't think I did the brushed back then. I think I did the like shiny gold and I wore them all the time. And then, you know, we all had our um, plenty of gold, like the herringbone. When were, when were the Atabeads? Do you remember that, the whole Atabead thing? I think that was more like 80s, but I remember having that too. And um, then this is the necklace that I never take off from Oliver and I have really enjoyed this. I mean, just, it's amazing how like just these two little diamonds just makes a difference. And um, this is actually Miranda Fry. So I'll put that down below, but I thought that was so 90s. My nail polish is still Lincoln Park After Dark. I can't remember about nail polish back then. Oh, I know I had one color I really liked and it was one of those, you know, I saw something that looked like it and I'll have to get it um, just to show you, but it was that peachy, like a peachy rose gold. It had a frost and it was kind of peachy and it was Sally Hansen. And I remember that was my favorite nail polish and everybody loved it. I can remember the girls in the office got it too. I cannot remember. It had some type of um, rose name, but it wasn't rosy, it was peachy. So I remember that. It's fun to think about all that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I got some really good things. I think everything I showed you today you would love and um, I will see you real soon and let me know down below if you have any of those favorites ideas that you would like for me to do. See you soon. Bye-bye.